I have this wood tray. I got it from the Dollar Tree Plus section. You can u really use any platform of your choice, but I painted the entire thing using some Wise Owl Black on the inside. I left the outside blank. I had this snowflake. It came from the Dollar Tree, and I cut in half using my miter saw. I'm going to paint both halves using some Wise Owl Snow Owl. You do not need full coverage, but I do want to cover them the best that I can. You want those to fully dry. Next, I'm going to be using some salt wash that I'm going to mix with my Wise Owl Snow Owl paint. Salt wash is a paint additive. It's going to give it some texture. I'm going to mix it together and I'm also going to add in almost like an opal white color to it as well. And you want the consistency of almost like icing. You do not want it too thin. I'm going to take my paintbrush and dab it over my snowflake. You can add as much of this as you like, but with the dabbing motion, when this dries, this is going to have a nice texture to it. I'm going to leave mine white, but you can certainly dry brush on another color and it's going to make that texture pop even more. While the salt wash is drying, I'm then going to go around the outside of my tray and on the outer lip of it and I'm going to paint it using some Wise Owl gray linen. Now again, you do not need full coverage on this. I just wanted it covered and I did get a little black on it so I went with the gray. Once that dried, I took some of the leftover salt wash that I had and I'm going to dab around the border of my tray. If some of the gray pops through, that is totally fine. I have this stencil. It says, let it snow. It came in a pack of stencils that I got off of Amazon. You can also use wood letters. You do not have to use a stencil. And I'm going to tape this in the center of the tray. I am using painter's tape to just block off some of those areas that I do not want to stencil. Using some Wise Owl Higgins Lake and a foam dabber, I'm going to dab over the words, let it snow. Now the salt wash and the paint products can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. In a dabbing motion with a little bit of paint, you're just going to cover the area you want stenciled. And then once my snowflake halves had dried, I'm going to glue one on the bottom right below the let it snow and then one on the top right above it. Now I'm using hot glue to hold this in place. Now I love how this looks. You can certainly just leave it as is, but I'm going to show you another thing that I added to mine. I have these string lights that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going across it and I'm adding little marks where I want to drill a hole. I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to drill right on those marks that I made. There were a total of 10 lights on the string lights. I'm going to flip it over. You want to remove all of that dust from the drilling and put the lights through the back side. And when you turn it on, this looks so pretty at nighttime. And I really like how this came out. I hope you enjoyed it. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.